Well, when the University of Idaho football team played the Florida Gators mm -hmm. last month, there likely weren't a lot of Vandals fans in the stands. The team lost in a blowout 63 to 10. But for one Vandals super fan who lives in Florida, getting to see his favorite team in person was the highlight of the college football season. And the fun didn't stop there. Creme 2 photojournalist Brett Alberry shows us what the team had in store for their super fan. Spencer is amazing. He's unlike anybody else his age. He was born hearing impaired, um, but unfortunately we didn't find out he was hearing impaired until he was almost three years old. So he had three years of his life where he wasn't able to understand English, so it took him a little bit to um, catch up. But he's a really, really good kid and he tries really hard in school. Um, he earns his grades. He works very hard. So of course we're very proud of him regardless of what he brings home, but he's actually doing very well. For whatever reason, he chose Idaho as his <laughs> number one team. None of us have ever been to Idaho. We have no family who's ever been to Idaho. I, I don't know why his fascination with Idaho, but it, it's part of him and his quirkiness, and we just we go with it. His birthday was in October, so he asked for tickets to that game for his birthday. So we bought tickets for him and for my nephew who took him to the game. You know, Spencer here, being the only Idaho fan, fan. Um, was you know getting all excited even though I think they were behind like 56 or something <laughs> and uh, and eventually the, the Florida Gator fans started cheering with Spencer every time Spencer would start cheering they'd start cheering right along with them so I thought that was pretty awesome of the Gator fans to, to do that so Levi just put on Reddit you know, basically thank you to the Gator fans who supported him you know and started cheering with him even though you know they were the opposing team somebody saw it and shared it and and uh, somehow it got to the athletic department in Idaho. The athletic department from Idaho saw the article and wanted to send you a package. <laughs> yeah, I was just amazed, first of all, that anybody would spend the time and the money to send that to him. Thank you for cheering on the vandals in Florida. We could, we could use more fans like you. The head coach? Are you serious? Oh, Trina. But it was just amazing to see him so excited about it and, and just to know that someone took the time to do that. It just, it really did warm my heart. This is why I know. <laughs> Anyone ask, I'm just gonna show them this. <laughs> this is why Idaho. Yeah. I love that. I just love it. What a, what oh, a great story. You couldn't get any, stuff. it is good stuff. You and I have gotten a little misty I know. tonight Yeah, we've had stories. a couple of newscasts where we've had real special stories about special people. Yes. And good, for, good on uh, U of I their athletic department to send him the gear because, and good on the Gator fans. Yes. You know, I mean, it's just really a good story all the way around. So a footnote to that, Spencer's parents let each of their children pick a place they'd like to go on a senior trip. So one of Spencer's sisters picked North Carolina, the other picked the Bahamas, and Spencer picked <laughs> Moscow, Idaho. So they will make that trip this summer. I hope we get to meet him. Oh, we'd love to catch yeah, up with him yeah. for sure.